Hello and welcome to this video about the Sony SCD 777ES uh, machine with one of the rarest lasers around Sony uh, KHS uh, 180i this unit would read CDs but not SACDs so a customer has purchased this on eBay it's a second hand laser but professionally you know sealed in an anti-static bag and you had uh, the shorting links for both lasers they are fitted so obviously whoever was selling it knew what uh, he was doing uh, and I promise you this video you, you already seen inside of this player but this is now how this Byzantine designed um, unit works the actual loading um, this is a you can see over there there's a pickup it's a fixed pickup and then you have the tray going onto those rails to um, to read um, pack is a fairly heavy gold colored unit so there it is uh, and isn't that beautiful isn't that beautiful a lot of engineering went into that color so it is um, Loading, this is not a hybrid, this is SACD, so it knows it's SACD discs in it. I'll better take that away because I think there are reflections there in a uh, table of contents reading, so it knows it's SACD. And um, we're biting our nails because it normally takes some time to read SACDs. These are um, uh, really DVD players no discs so a lot of work but no cigar you know and I this is a proper workshop this is not like somebody has um, uh, you know tried to do it in the garage and I'm um, you know connected to anti-static um, mat and station so we'll try now the hybrid one so as you see it's not always I keep quiet because people tell me not to talk when the uh, tray is going in and out they want to hear how um, smooth it is and it is it is very smooth so um, uh, maybe I'll go and have a look again this is a hybrid one uh, and see if the power can be adjusted other than that well, nothing much can be do there's no server to be tuned so we'll see how it behaves with a um, it says CD now so it couldn't read SACD um, we'll wait for a bit longer but uh, this is not the first time I put the CD in it, so I can tell you it's not going to read CD either. So we're going backwards. So it's actually that laser we purchased for 300 something American dollars or 500 Australian dollars is just no good. And that really proved the pudding because it used to read CDs, and you could see that in my previous video. It takes its time, but. Um, it's just not going to happen which is a shame because uh, yeah no disc I've spent some time on it and now it sort of turns you know when you talk $500 for laser couple of hundred now to replace it well it's really a thousand dollar repair if I start adjusting it taking it apart you know it's a disappointment we'll see what the seller of those lasers will say well thank you very much and till the next one bye